What's up everybody and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about how to enable self-service password reset in your environment. So to start off with, we're going to go over here to entra.microsoft.com and then under Azure Active Directory and then under Protect and Secure, we're going to go to Password Reset. Uh, so there's a few separate settings underneath Password Reset and the first one that we want to go over is the notifications. So we want to enable notifications to be sent to users when they reset their password and then we also want to notify other admins when an admin resets their password. Uh, so if anything fishy pops up, you know, all the other global admins and the tenant will get a notification. The next thing that we want to go over is the registration settings. So by default, the number is 180 days. I like changing this to 90 days uh, just to make sure everybody's refreshing their you know, phone authentication method or their security questions or whatever every three months. All right, the next thing that we want to do is go to authentication methods, and this is where you're going to decide what exactly users can use to reset their password. Now, my recommendation is going to be to always require two methods and then to use the Microsoft Authenticator app. I like to use phone numbers as well. Um, you can technically use security questions. If you do use security questions, I would advise setting these up to the max. Uh, but I don't really like security questions. They're less secure in general. So I'm going to stick with the mobile app notification and the mobile phone, and then we'll use email as a tertiary method. So we're going to click Save on those attributes. All right, now that we have our authentication method set, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over here to properties. And if you only want to target a select group of people in your organization, you can click selected and you can create a group in here. Uh, you know, whether it's Azure SSPR enabled, something along those lines that'll tell somebody like, hey, this is the self-service password reset group. Uh, for my particular instance, I just want to enable this for all people. Now we have... SSPR enabled for the entire tenant. So if, you know, depending on the scope, you know, if you're selecting this to a specific security group, it's only going to affect those people. If you're targeting all people, they're going to get prompted the next time that they log into portal.office.com or security.microsoft.com, basically any 365 portal, they're going to get notified to register their information. It'll be a little pop-up. And uh, if you want to see what that looks like, we, I'll link the um, automation video I did for self-service password reset because it has the user experience in there. And, you know, just look at that video, walk through the user experience, make sure everything looks good to you before you enable this tenant-wide. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like this kind of content, click subscribe so you can see future videos. And, you know, self-service password reset is one of the best features in the cloud, from my, in my opinion. So I highly recommend using this across the board to ease up the, the administrative burden on your IT staff. So catch you in the next video.